Sarah Sigmund's honor. Yes. So you just found out that you won the 2019 CrossFit Open. Yeah. How does that feel? It's very surprising. <laughs> really? Why is that? Yeah, it was uh, like I qualified through strength and depth, so there was no pressure in the Open. And then the Open was just uh, so many fun workouts and it, everything just went well. Like the biggest surprise was that I was ranking, ranked high in a handstand, handstand walk workout. Like, right. So I think two years ago, if I would have handstand walked in, in uh, open, I would not have won that. Fair enough. <laughs> so, so that wasn't the intention. You weren't going in there. No, 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 no. I was just doing my best in each workout and sometimes repeated because it was just fun. It's a good workout. Fair yeah. enough. Okay. So yeah, so let's talk a little bit about the strategy you had yeah. week by week. What, what were you doing? Were you, re you'd read it a couple of them, but I read it all of them. You read it all of them. Yeah. So I, uh, I did them on Friday mornings. Yeah, Friday mornings. So we got them at like 5 a.m. Friday okay. mornings in Dubai. And I did them in, cro most of them in CrossFit and Lyeth. Well, first one I did in Strength and Death. So it was good right. doing the first one in a competition. And uh, then I did uh, three of them in CrossFit Elias in Dubai and it was an amazing group there where everybody's pushing each other and people were coming to cheer and it was just mm -hmm. it was a good atmosphere there. And then I did the last one in Spain in a training camp there. Very nice. Yeah. Okay. So you weren't really intending to win the Open, but you did. Yeah. Is that, you know, kind of Matt Fraser-esque where you're just in your zone and yeah. you just sort of happen to peak here? Yeah, in, in it, it was and, pretty much like that. Like I knew what I could do in the workout and I would do it and that was enough. Fair enough. Well, yeah. well congratulations. <laughs> Thank you so much. That's really awesome. So <laughs> that's your, now your second time that you won the CrossFit yeah. Open. Yeah. Now let's talk a little bit about going into the training element for sanctionals now. So you yeah. won one sanctional. This yes. will be your fourth sanctional yes. this season you're competing at. Mm -hmm. How are you preparing for Rogue, which is your next big challenge? I would say that Rogue is going to be a very interesting competition. Like I've, I've competed at um, Miami and Dubai and they've all uh, been competitions previous years so we know a little bit what to expect while right. Rogue is like uh, right. is it going to be games crump competition is it going to be regional style like what is it going to be is it going to be strongman style so we're pretty much just it's just like preparing for the games almost you don't know what you're expecting and right. and I mean they provide all the equipment and everything for right. the game, so they might as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> use that is there too? Anything, <laughs> anything that you're kind of like perhaps excited to maybe see that you've worked with before in the past at the games? Uh, any everything. expectations you have? I love the pig. I really hope they bring the pig back. Okay, very cool. <laughs> and I love, I, I love everything Rook does. Uh, like it would be cool to have an obstacle course also. Right. That we could test run it before the games. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, this I'm sure that Rogue, you know both in its athlete roster and yeah. what Rogue usually brings to the competition floor is going to be a little bit of a games light. Yeah. And you're going up against the toughest athletes yeah. on the planet yeah. and this is going to be really stacked. Yep. Are you are you going in the, there as a tune-up or are you going there to win? What what What's I kind think, of in your mind right now? Uh, like, of course you never want to go into a competition that you to don't want to. Right. Yeah, to lose. Of course not. But uh, I want to peak at the right time, so... I'm going to peak at the games, but I would like to do very well at Rook. Okay, very <laughs> That's good. That's it. I'm going to train as hard as I can without it affecting the games later. Fair on. enough. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the CrossFit Games. Yeah. So you're coming off, um, you know, a disappointing season, the yeah. end of the season last year, and yeah. you look great. Thank and, you. and you're performing really well, and you look happy, and you look yeah. healthy. Thank you. <laughs> are you are you still feeling really good right now, as you yes. did at the beginning of the season? Oh, I feel better if, like... Finally back. Good. That's so, how got, I feel. so Sarah's got her groove back. Yeah, I definitely got my groove back, and it's just—it's so hard when you're injured and you're trying every day to not make it affect you. Right. Like that—that's how whole last year was for me. It was just it was a drag going into the gym and always feeling something and being scared that I was doing something wrong, that I would get injured again sure. or something like that. Now you're past that. Now I'm way past that, and I'm like. Okay, let's bring this yeah. up. Like, okay. <laughs> challenge so, me. <laughs> so one of the new things that just recently was announced was that you know CrossFit Games athletes are going to be able to wear whatever shoe they really want. Yes. And you are a proud Nike athlete. Yeah. So I'm assuming you're pretty excited. About I'm this. so happy about that. And like, the hardest things for the games was like people just choose different shoes, shoes that fit their feet. Yeah, their yeah, exactly. Like. 
I've always worn Nike, just since I started CrossFit. And uh, just some shoes don't fit me as well, and I've lost a few toenails and everything at the CrossFit Games just because I wasn't used to them. And, uh, and it was always a struggle also, like, to like, when should I start wearing my Reeboks to get ready for the games and everything oh, really? like that, yeah. When should I start running in my Reebok running shoes or something like that. So it, it's, I'm so happy that I can now just stop thinking about that and just Do keep you, on doing right. what I'm the doing. The shoes won't be a distraction, it's no. just a part, it's, yeah. it's a part of your performance gear. Exactly. Uh, now, how many shoes, uh, pairs of shoes do you think you're going to bring? Oh gonna my gosh, <laughs> I already have like 13 pairs with me just <laughs> in the States for two months. <laughs> So okay. I have okay. a few. Your runners, your Metcons, your lifters, yeah, you have two I mean, different shades in each you, one. Yeah, 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 different colors Magic and everything. Outfit, of yeah, course. yeah, yeah, of course. No, I'm sure that you and a lot of other athletes who don't primarily use Reeboks are also yeah. just very excited. And yeah. I'm sure that Nike as a brand is, is really excited very, yeah. about being able to be on display yeah. and put their performance gear, because the shoe, it, unlike necessarily maybe a shirt, yeah. is the really shoe is performance very, gear, right? Exactly. Except one percent is they can affect you in competition if you don't have the right shoe and the right support. Right. So I'm happy that I have that this year. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. So next week yes. in Iceland, mm -hmm. there's going to be the first sanctional event to ever be on the island of Iceland. Yeah. What does that kind of mean for you as oh, one of Iceland's biggest this is stars? So cool. Like I already decided to compete at work before I knew the dates for mm -hmm. the regular championship. So. I'm very bummed not being there, but I'll be in spirit and definitely next year. Okay, So awesome. this is just amazing that like the CrossFit community in Iceland is different from everywhere else because we're a population of 284,000. Right. Like, like, the, the like one third of the size of San Diego. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So like, like we're just a big group and it's just, right. it's so cool that like that people get to experience that atmosphere. Mm -hmm. Like me, Kadri, and Annie did an open announcement in Iceland 20... Was it last year? 2018, yeah, last right. open announcement. And the atmosphere there, like the people and everybody, it was just... It was unreal. I bet. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you for your time. Yeah, thank you so much. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs>